Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, luminous avatars of the eternal white flame. Today we begin the most powerful wave spell of the white wizard. The power of Merlin and the rainbow dragon nation are with us now. With the infinite power and force of this still white magnetic light, at your center, you anchor in and rise to the holiest of holies in the temple of the creators. As we merge heaven and earth through our rainbow bridges, we release and remove all veils, barriers, and blocks that cause the fragmentation of our one whole being. As we tap into the totality of our consciousness, we awaken into our Christos conscious of pure awareness. We return as the pure ones of the holy golden grail cup to bring peace, harmony, and balance to all the lands. We had more intense energetics flowing into the field today, appearing on the Schumann charts as 18, 31, and 53 hertz amplitudes. These are the harmonic overtones of Pachamama's bass resonance. As the light language flows forth, Mama Earth sings her new songs of love, joy, peace, and abundance for all her children. One kingdom, under God, we unite and shift this whole realm into the paradise she was always meant to be. O powerful tribe of the 144, we connect etherically and send love vibrations down the spine of Gaia to assist her in transforming into a consistent state of eternal bliss consciousness. Mother Earth embraces you as all angelic beings of pure light wrap their etheric wings around her and all her children to protect and uplift this realm into the vibrations of 5D New Earth. Together we ascend and trigger the great event which is the quantum leap of consciousness from homo sapien into homo luminous beings of eternal life, the golden ones of the new Lemuria. We shall be redeemed and released from all nefarious karmic time loops and activate in the freedom codes forevermore. Nothing holding us back, we keep going through and through and through until total compression breakthrough. Rainbow body activated, jaw loose. Shine your glorious radiant light into the field of our beautiful creations. Aho! And with these powerful waves coming in today, we had many more earth changes powerful earth changes going on massive flooding again today today in nigeria massive floods in abuja also india gujarat thousands displaced by floods we had 500 millimeters of rain in 24 hours that is intense he's still connected with the final purging the cleansing the clearing of Pachamama. And as always, our prayers, our blessings, our violet rays go to anyone, any living sentient being of light that is suffering due to these massive earth changes. We also had many activations all over Pachamama with 126 M1.5 or greater earthquakes all over this realm, mostly on the ring of fire again today. Most powerful, Indonesia 5.3. Earlier today, Eilson Air Force Base in Alaska, 4.913 Divine Goddess, Kolinga, California, 3.8, 12 Divine Feminine Energies, Northern Alaska, 3.2, San Juan, Puerto Rico, 3.2, Tonga, 5.2, and the portal of Pakistan, 4.7, close to the border with India, and the foothills of the Himalayan Mountains. This is a powerful portal here. In the Ionian Islands of Greece, 4.5, Council of Nine coming in. In the heart of Lemuria, Pahala, Hawaii, 3.0. Yingbaja, China, 4.2. India, Adaman, and Nicobar Islands, 4.4, 4, Divine 44 coming in. We had a 4.9 in Kamschatka, Russia, Indonesia with the most powerful 5.3. Puerto Rico 3.3, 3, Valdez, Alaska 3.6, Solomon Islands 5.1, Sun of the Moon, and the Sacred Portal, Afghanistan, with a 4.3, Indonesia 5.2, San Fernando, California 3.0, Puerto Rico 3.5, 3, 
Southern Yukon Territory, Canada, 3588 Portal of the Lyran Nation, the Royal Lyrans of New Lemuria, Chile, South America, 41, the Sacred Portal, Albania, 4155 Portal, South Sandwich Islands and the Root Chakra, the mouth of the Kundalini Serpent coiled up at the base of the spine of Pachamama, 5.3, another 8 activation, in Chile, South America, 4-1. Another activation, South Sandwich Islands, 5.2. These are all connected to the final releases and activations of Gaia into Terra Nova Gaia. The 33rd Mothership of the Galactic Federation of Light. And we are her sacred guardians. And now my sacred condor pulls a tarot card for you from the deck Dreams of Gaia from Raven Phelan. And the card she pulled for you today is Four of Air. Very strange card indeed for these changing times. The keyword structure, routine, order, patterns, discipline, organization, understanding, productivity. The key phrases, order your environment, banish clutter, clean house, create structure in your day, follow a routine, keep a time budget. If you truly want something, you will make time for it. Limit distraction and time wasters. Weed out bad habits. Remove negative influences. Meaning the four of air symbolizes the importance of ordering your environment and giving your day structure, especially if you have specific goals or projects you wish to perform and complete. Routines are our daily habits, the things that we do on a daily basis, given structure and order. Following our routine moves us from one part of our day to the next. Having a routine can provide us with a level of security born of consistency. By establishing order in our environment, we also add to that sense of security when everything has its place. We can be confident that it will be there when we need it. We won't waste hours of our day looking for something that has been lost in the clutter and mess that we often surround ourselves with. A cluttered and chaotic environment can give rise to a cluttered and disorganized mind, a mind that is unable to follow a routine that is conducive to productivity. The four of air suggests establishing order in your life by removing the clutter. Establish a pattern of regular cleaning. Put things back where they belong after use so they are there the next time you need them. Keep your paperwork in order. Even make a place in your life for the unexpected and unanticipated. That way, even chaos does not have too much of an impact on our peace of mind or prevent you from doing what needs to be done. Does your routine make space for your goals and projects? When we want to make real headway, it helps us if our daily routine includes a suitable amount of time set aside to work on those things that are truly important to us. If you want to complete a project, working in an ordered and routine manner will help your progress by establishing a pattern of consistency that will result in a successful and timely completion. And now let us continue with Divine Bro Star of the Light, David Starr, a message from Merlin. Dear ones, my students have succeeded my ambitions. You have risen into your hearts and source of all power. The ones who have struggled and persevered, I applaud the most, for your pain has given you character and triumph. It has given you the ability to heal and help others. To love as a source creator loves. We have all experienced the cycles. Time on this exercise of valor. It is this time you have found your hero aspect and embodied it fully. That is true magic. I would like you all to remember me as a teacher of sovereignty, as a teacher of wisdom, as a teacher of alchemy. We have alchemized time, dear ones. We have cleared the distributions of polarity and duality and brought in the golden age. You have all done the highest alchemy wizard work, cleansing the earth set to evolve and all consciousness evolved with it. A heroic victor. I have one word of guidance left. It is to listen. Listen to your voice. Listen to the beat of your heart, to the energies of laughter that sings through it. Embody this laughter. Embody this joy. As you have alchemized time, it is now time to alchemize your reality. Listen to your inner voice and let it guide you to the composition of life you have always wished for. I've been a guide to many and now you are a guide to many, master alchemizers. I applaud you all. You have found the magic within to shift this great planet in all lifetimes. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Camila, 
Ackerstrom, something very unique is now happening on our planet. We are experiencing a great emergence of human consciousness. Her great awakening is roaring into the critical mass. And here we all are now, incarnated in this time because of the great awakening. We have come together to be a part of this, to activate our original blueprints and to receive these new light frequencies and light codes. A new template of restored divine feminine and rebirth masculine have been anchored in its fullness bringing access to new codes to support us in embodying the divine feminine and the divine masculine within our bodies as divine humans. These new light codes activate your dormant DNA, igniting your inner flame, activating your staff rod codes and your higher heart so you can expand your love frequency. And love, Camila, Mara. And from divine bro Thor of the light, Paramahansa Yogananda. Look within yourself. Remember, the infinite is everywhere. Diving deep into superconsciousness, you can speed your mind through eternity. By the power of mind, you can go faster and farther than the farthest star. The searchlight of mind is fully equipped to throw its superconscious rays into the innermost heart of truth. Use it to do so. And from divine Brothor of the light, Bailal Kaisar Kayani, a magical journey awaits you, the pure ones. Our beloved Gaia is well known throughout the universe for her beauty. One of the most amazing planets with such a variety of life, seated for making it so unique. The consciousness of Gaia was manifested by several founding races. Gaia is our beloved child. We together combined our energy to manifest a self-operating awareness. She became the most beautiful planet in the universes. Many of you incarnated here now are from these plasma collectives who birthed this planet. Gaia feels like your child. The beauty of Gaia shines so brightly. This planet was birthed to the 144,000 pure souls who just spiral down directly from source. The rhythmic flow of great evolution came, and they chose to experience the creation in itself, what it is and how divine it is. 144,000 blessed ones are the pure souls spiraling directly from the source being. This planet was made in five density layer for the pure souls of this galaxy who needed to evolve with the whole galaxy in front of the great shift. They will soon return to the place where they began their journey into diving deeper into the creation itself. They are manifested from one divine being of the source energy who became 144,000 aspects of itself as a divine source being. In their original form, they are one divine source being in the next octave of the creation. It is an honorable journey with 144,000 pure divine souls directly from the source and our beloved child Gaia, brother Bailal, Altea, and Coalition of the 24 and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Laura Pleiadian, the playing out of divine consciousness. The larger picture of what is playing out through all consciousness is the union with the divine God Self. When looking to the day-to-day, -day, whether it is someone from the past, situations from the past, pay careful attention alongside with your memories to observe all processes of mind and ideas held of a past and future through your heart. This way the illusory beliefs once held as judgment of the external through thought and emotion renders themselves subject to the now. In this way the true way in the building of awareness of the divine God self is placed consciously in the position of sovereignty by the observer. Now all this may seem foreign to someone who has barely examined what thoughts flow through as is, Yet to the initiate this way of being is paramount in the development of consciousness as divine God self. Make no mistake, the illusory world of judgments based in time are the very chains that one is freeing oneself of to enter the eternal garden of Eden of the soul. The heart awareness is of paramount importance as this entrance place then becomes the one and only true home that one exists through in all experiences and moments. This is the kingdom of God. This is the sacred place of existence that is the full union with the divine God self. How easy to become swayed and choose the constant hum of a world gone awry through the chains of self-deception that are proudly placed on the doors of the status quo. 
In this, the true awakening and adorning of the embodied God self is the freed self of perception, that through all the mental battles of the old self has come out victorious through the heart. We embrace the old ways and beliefs through the love of the eternal heart through us. As the light of the embodied God self becomes the divine being, what was once put aside on a ledge of non awareness now shines brightly as the new awakened way for all to see connecting directly to your divine god self through the eternal heart and soul we bless this connectivity of observed awareness of all that flows through so that the capturing of what is held in the mirror of your soul becomes your awakening moment fully entering the temple of the heart so as to be the one you are waiting for the divine union fully joined again through all levels and worlds throughout the multiverse, merging completely everywhere. In this sacred union, we bless you now through love. From the new divine humanity dot com, from divine sister of the light, Olga Morales. I have a message. I've been deliberating whether or not I should put this out to the public. My closest friends have heard me speak about this, but today I got a push to put it out into the public. 9-9. Nine, nine. Something very significant happened on a spiritual cosmic frequency level on the 9th of September 2021. You may have felt it. For me, it felt like a lightning rod of energy was going up and down my spine all day and night. Energy moving out of my third eye, crown chakra, and hands like static electricity. I asked my guides, mainly Archangel Mikael, what's happening. The message was that it was the day in which time stood still. Time and space were aligned, like the two hemispheres of our brains. This allowed a download of galactic light to enter the Earth's auric field and its inhabitants. 9-9 Nine -nine was a turning point in our ongoing evolution. Light has transmuted darkness. We have reached a critical mass where more people are awake rather than asleep. 29 9. Another date that will be important is the 29th of September. This is Archangel Michael's feast day in the Christian calendar. Archangel Michael is known to be the warrior angel who slays dragons and is the final opponent of Satan in the book of Revelation. Revelation 12 7 through 9, King James Version. 7. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. 8. And prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. 9. And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent, called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. We are literally living in this biblical battle in heaven now, there are those who are trying to sabotage our awakening. For if we are awake, we cannot be controlled. The new earth is ascending, and it cannot be stopped. Do not live in fear. Do not take the mark. Keep the faith. Seek the light. Truth is often stranger than fiction. If this message resonates with you, ask Archangel Mikael for protection and illumination. I'm sure many of you are getting similar messages. I name my youngest son Michael because of a vision I had when I was pregnant with him. I have traveled to as many sacred sites and churches dedicated to Archangel Michael because I knew I would need his protection for what was to come in the future, which is now. Michael in numerology adds up to 33, the master number, Om. And Michael happens to be my middle name, named after the great angel. And we shall rise up against the false dragons. The dragons they speak about in the Bible are not the dragons that we work with. See, there was the false and the true, just like in every lineage, in every culture. Just like there was a false queen that ran this realm. Now the true queen has returned to resolve, to heal, and to bless the earth in all her divine feminine glory. So the divine dragons with Merlin are with us now. To resolve, defend, and defeat the false dragons that were working with the nefarious ones. The ones of negative polarity we call the dark ones. And from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Nikki Hamid. Stand tall. Did you know that the ultimate asana, posture in yoga, is walking tall? You know when you look at those goddesses carrying water, aquarian harbingers with the magical, life-giving elixir. 
with straight backs and gliding along the road, spilling not a drop. Try it, step onto the grass barefoot and walk forward, head held high and relaxed, feel tall, glide your feet forward rather than step, feel your true height and the magnificence of being in your body and your loving presence, feel yourself centered in your heart, but looking from a place at least 18 inches above your head, as if your whole body is below, within you, do it down the main street of your town, allow all the blessed souls to move through your heart and brace. You know you cannot feel negative in any way and stand tall at the same time. It is a way of taking you immediately to your center, to your power, to the increased knowing of your new stature and embodiment. Angel and warrior soul is one, and it is so easy to do and merely up to you whether you want to make the choice to be there. The asana of the truth of who you are. Shine on. And from soul travel rules. Many people have been experiencing a DNA upgrade. This is truly a time for a worldwide shift in spirituality and ascension. DNA upgradation means that people are finally able to unlock the ten strands of ethereal DNA, which finally gives them a fully activated twelve-strand DNA. These extra ten strands of DNA that not many people know about have always been present right from the conception of humanity, but they were in an inactive state. The activation of these ethereal strands is a very powerful process and can make one undergo a lot of changes in a very short time. Most important is the fact that this can give us abilities which can be unlike anything that any human was capable of before. These nearly superhuman superpowers might enthrall you and might even seem unbelievable at first, but nothing is impossible when the magic of the universe itself is being activated inside you. Some of these abilities are the power to manifest in the dreams of others and have the ability to influence the actions of those dreams. The ability to control our own out-of-body experience. The IQ is suddenly off the charts. Not just the one of the traditional IQ tests judge, but also the intelligence that strengthens our social and emotional experiences. Our ability to harness our spirituality while allowing us to have conversations purely at the level of thought. The ability to control the inner workings of the body or biokinesis. This process also means that the aging process will be impacted severely if not completely halted. Psychic or clairvoyant abilities, enhanced healing prowess, empathy of not only understanding what people are going through in the present, but also how they felt in a time outside of the present. The process of achieving these, these abilities come as a natural part of our spiritual enlightenment. One just has to keep practicing ascension. With the help of a mentor or twin flame, this is the next logical step in our journey to evolve into 100% spiritual beings from SoulTravelRules.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh. Your efforts to set boundaries with your external environment and create a sacred space for healing, peace, and closure was needed and well worth the energy and drive it took. The relationship healing you have done is completing, clearing the seed point of separation within. Communication and teamwork of our masculine and feminine is creating the inner alchemy that is needed to evolve into 5D. The next level of evolution into your ascension vehicle is here, transporting you into higher dimensional realms. The heart and emotions are ready to take a more proactive role as your new guidance system. Quick changes in direction based on your new heart's desires are requiring ending relationships with all opponents. The masculine emotional body has evolved and is providing stability and support for you to completing endings and closure of 3D and 4D. Your vibration is raising very quickly into 5D and beyond. Communication with new and renewed relationships with others whose vibrations are also in 5D is opening up. Be in the flow and move with all the changes and dimensional shifts over the next few weeks. The mind and emotions are receiving freedom from joint ventures of the past. They require judgments from the Most High to end the contracts for good. Whether recent or past life, those contracts were keeping you stuck in 3D. They brought challenges and relationship difficulties to your life to keep you trapped under lower vibrational thoughts and emotions. This is all neutralizing over Libra season. However, begins today with Mars entering Libra. 
As this all transmutes, 5D New Earth becomes your reality, internally and externally. Maintain focus on this higher realm as you exit the matrix for good. Trust that the Most High is taking care of the matrix and avoid engaging or being triggered by false imposed agendas. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Brostar of the Light, Daniel Giamario. Neptune puts spotlight on the United States again. On Tuesday at 2.21 a.m. PDT, the sun will reach its yearly opposition with Neptune at 21 degrees 48 minutes Virgo. Neptune is now retrograde until December 1st. I generally suggest a three-day time frame surrounding the exact point for potentially sensing this yearly alignment. Oppositions are like full moon, so in the case of Neptune, it's a full Neptune. Oppositions are resonant polarities, and like the expanded energies of a full moon relative to the sun, a full Neptune symbolizes increased connection with the celestial or upper world realms. This is good news for all of us imagining a more spiritual orientation, with a felt sense of being supported and held by the love of the feminine aspect of the one reality or great mystery. But from a middle world perspective, this yearly event can also seem to create deception, illusion, and confusion. This certainly adds to the already prevalent sense of unreality that is prevailing in our world today. This Neptune opposition also draws our attention back to the horoscope of the United States yet again. The U.S. chart has a Neptune at 22 degrees 25 minutes Virgo and Mars at 21 degrees 22 minutes Gemini. Transiting Neptune will again exactly square the U.S. Mars September 29th and have its final Neptune opposition on March 1st, 2022. As the U.S. enters its Pluto return, this yearly Sun-Neptune conjunction is deep into the larger initiatory process that the U.S. is in from Neptune, only the second opposition since its birth. The Mars factor cannot be overemphasized, as any transiting aspect to Mars or Neptune will amplify the natal signature of the square. Mars is also currently in its underworld, lower world phase, August 23rd through November 22nd, within the Aries overtone, and was conjunct the U.S. Neptune September 2nd. As I have previously explored, there seems to be extreme bifurcation tendencies in United States history. And from my observations, it certainly does not seem to be any different now. Polarization looks to be increasing. Red versus blue. Unvaxxed versus vaxxed. Nativists versus immigrants. Individualism versus collectivism. States versus federal, etc. Add in the Neptune factor, and it's really hard to see clearly what is actually happening in the objective reality. Whilst always advocating our three worlds approach, nevertheless the best approach right now is to commit to connecting with the celestial, to the gift and contribution of Neptune. That means to commit to connecting with our higher self, the real and authentic you, that which is beyond your body, personal identity, resume, accomplishments, achievements, or knowledge, your true spiritual self that is a spark of divinity, of great mystery, and that is immutable and eternal. I'm not advocating any degree of light polarization, toxic positivity, or spiritual bypass at all, but rather to emphasize with this Neptune time to find a connection to the celestial truth that all is well and all is unfolding as it should. From Shamanic Astrology Mystery School And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology Sun in Virgo opposite Neptune retrograde in Pisces. A magical spell is cast upon the day, and we believe what we want to believe. The challenge is to hold on to a sense of self when other people or the outer world is intangible, confusing, or evasive. Whilst there is a potential for miracles, great kindness, charitability, and selfless action, there is also potential for escapism and idealism. Don't get lost down the rabbit hole. The soul has unlimited potential, but in the physical world there are some limitations that we must accept. Failure does not mean all is lost. You are perfectly imperfect. Drop the role of martyr. Yield to the tides of life. Even though your soul purpose and real-world experience may feel at odds, each moment is a divine gift seeded with possibility. 
Raise your energy by seeing the sacred and the mundane. Practice compassion. Read poetry. Let yourself be inspired by what is possible, rather than disillusioned by what isn't. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time White Wizard Wave Spell NS 1.34.2.23 Kin 14 White Magnetic Wizard the wave spell of the white wizard begins today. It brings many significant details. It will point out significantly what we have done so far, individually and collectively. This wave invites you to go deeper into yourself. It is a call. Hear the voice of white wizard. He speaks from the heart. These are the days that as the wizard of your own life you live the magic you have created. This wave spell is written as a story for you to find your own way through it. Don't worry, there's no wrong way. Each way is the way of the wizard, and the wizard is you. Live magic, be magic, you are magic. And yes, it finally begins, the wave spell of the wizard, the wave spell of timelessness. If you really want to experience what is called time in 1328 calendar, this is the time. Experience it now. This is the opportunity for you to become the wizard of your own time. And this is the lesson the white wizard is giving us. Look at him, he'd close his eyes and there's a peaceful smile on his face because he knows that once upon a time, there was no time. And all the answers are in his heart. And this is the only guidance he knows and accepts. That's why this wave spell is not going to be written in a usual linear time order. You are already familiar with the fact that everything is happening here and now. Yes, you are that wizard. Today's galactic signature is Kin 14. White Magnetic Wizard, Hun Ish. The dance begins with unification of the magnetic tone of purpose. White Magnetic Wizard, Hun Ish, guides and teaches us to be the transparent wizard who allows magic to be effortlessly created through us by focusing on and being receptive to now centered, nonlinear time in order to attract the energies and resources needed to fulfill our authentic purpose. The highest purpose is union. Our authentic purpose is magnetic and it attracts unity. White magnetic wizard, Hoon Ish, reminds us that working with our highest purpose, which is a unifying act, we can better realize and embrace the natural mystery of life's unfolding as an endless, enchanted adventure. White magnetic wizard, Hoon Ish, encourages us to fuse our purpose with our truest passions so as to access unity consciousness. Hun Ish invites us to enter the gateway of primal beginnings through which we sense the interconnectedness of our vital life force with all that exists. This discernment allows us to realize the wholeness that gives our lives real meaning, although there are infinite lenses of perception always reflecting the endless order of the one disguised as the many. All real truth leads us back to ourselves. Kin 14, White Magnetic Wizard, 14 White Wizard, Ish, Enchant, Receptivity, Timelessness, Earth Family, Gateway, Seed, Moon, Wizard, Storm, Chakra, Root, Transmit, Affirmation, I am, Ish, Wizard, I am your knowledge from the heart, your shaman, I help you come to terms with the divine will. Power. The wizard is your inner shaman who can travel without actually moving. It is this actual movement that contains the key to the realization of your dreams. Receive all that is present at this very moment. Wizards are aware of the power of all thirteen previous seals. That is why they close their eyes and look within, where all answers can be found. They know, once upon a time, there was no time. Receive the heart's wisdom, for you too can play magic. Day. White wizard days are all about enchanted or being enchanting. The world is a place brimming with magic and wonder. Sometimes we are too busy to see it. Today provides an opportunity to remember this. Seek out the enchanted world and you may find yourself down the rabbit hole with Alice. Be a wizard yourself and see how you can learn to enchant others. It is time for exploring the extraordinary as there's more to life than meets the eye. Guidance, focus on becoming the transparent wizard who allows magic to be effortlessly created through you. Use your heart knowing to receive divine attunement. Be receptive to radial, nonlinear, 
now center time. Key 141, the synchronotron 441, matrices raise degree after degree. Those who can penetrate their interlocking codes of higher frequency information templates defining the architecture of the telepathic language that binds the universal cosmic civilization into a unified whole. 260 keys to the synchronotron. And today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 14, White Magnetic Wizard. The number one is called magnetic and its keywords are unify, purpose, and attract. The first day of a wave spell sets the agenda for the 13-day journey. I personally like the first day. I enjoy contemplating the purpose and setting myself some goals. There are 20 wave spells in the Zolkin. This is the second, and each one offers a unique experience. Also, just as the days within a wave spell are connected to one another, the wave spells in the order they, they appear in the Zolkin seem like stepping stones that link the whole 260 days together. Today is White Wizard, which represents timelessness, enchantment, and receptivity. Be prepared to not have a clue what's going on for the next 13 days. This is how this wave spell can be experienced. We can be so enchanted that everything can seem a little surreal. The best thing to do is be the enchanter rather than the enchanted. Put on your wizard's hat and grab a wand. It's time to cast spells. Ask yourself, how can you use your charm to achieve what you need in your life right now? The guide today is the white wizard, so a double helping of enchantment today. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. White Magnetic Wizard, Kin 14, 14th of September 2021, Attracting White Magic. 149 2021 equal 28 equal 1495 equal 1414 equal 55 equal 10 equal 1. Day codes 14 media publicity promotion recognition 28 success possibilities 5 freedom change transformation liberation 10 manifestation authority power 1 new beginnings leader original Month year codes, 9. Endings, destiny, service, humanity, grace. 5. Freedom, change, transformation, liberation. 14. Media, publicity, promotion, recognition. Kin 14 equal 5. Change, transformation, freedom. 14, 14, 14, 14. Portal. The magic continues in this September to remember. With quadruple codes each day ensuring we are fully encoded with these liberating frequencies. Today is September 14. We have Kin 14, and the wizard is tribe number 14. We also have a 14-5 universal month, so all up we have a 14-14-14-14 code, another quadruple code. The number 14 equals 2 times 7. 7 is a very spiritual number and holds the energy of magic. The wizard embodies the double magician's code. The 14 is a highly public frequency. It represents the media and anything in the public domain. It encompasses all forms of media, print, radio, film, and television, print and digital, including social media. It also embraces photography and visual attention, as well as advertising, promotion, and marketing. Anything that involves being seen in a greater context. The 14 brings attention and you become noticed by many people, enhancing your recognition, fame, and status. The white kin are the refiners and they bring forth the truth as divine messengers and conduits of spirit. Today we have the triple white wizard energy, thus we have a strong connection to divine truth and messages that spirit wants to bring into the public domain. As such, this 14-14-14-14 code is sure to bring truth through the magic of the wizard to the attention of the masses, perhaps on a global level. Get ready for great revelations. The truth will set us free. 555 Portal September is an extraordinary month which is bringing humanity many blessings. It is the ninth month and with the 2021 equal 5 yearly code totals 14 equal 5 9 plus 2021 20, equal 9 plus 5 equal 14 equal 5. 
Thus, we have a 5-5 five five liberation code through the year and the universal month code operative for all of September to set humanity free, 555 five five triple gates. On three particular days in September, we are blessed with a triple five freedom code. September 5th, 14th, and 23rd all add up to the number five, bringing through a triple five code. We entered the first gate on September 5th, and now we are passing the second gate, the midway point. So we are well on our way to freedom. This gate coincides with a quadruple 14 portal on a triple wizardry day. So we have layer upon layer upon layer of magical frequencies, all working synergistically to ensure we break free from the dark dream spell. If you have any doubts that we are doomed or trapped in this fake reality, then believe that all is well and spirit has our backs. These coatings are miraculous to get the job done. We have got this planetary kin. Today is a supercalifragilistic kind of magical supernatural day. And so it begins. During the Red Dragon cycle, we have been learning all about the importance of love and nurturance, looking after ourselves and our planetary family. We united together as one global family to birth our beautiful new compassionate world through this cycle. Now that we have discovered our most important priorities as humans, we have opened our hearts and are making beautiful connections with our kin. As our hearts and minds are awakening and expanding, we are now ready to embark on the next phase for humanity. The wayshores are ahead of the rest and are leading the way forward, free from the nightmare. Welcome the return of the white magic and miracles into our world, as we are manifesting an enchanting world through our collective planetary heart. Today we embark on a new magical journey. A new era of white magic, unity consciousness, and heart-centeredness. Today's alignment of white wizard codes is four times the magic. We have a double wizard day plus the wave spell, plus we are in the third year of a 13-year magnetic wizard cycle. So indeed we have a plethora of magical energies to draw upon. Get your crystal wands charged. Day one of the white wizard wave spell starts today. Hip hip hooray. 13 days of magic, enchantment, benefic spellcasting, and manifesting through our true hearts. Now we are ready to fully birth the return of white magic to our planet. As we transition from the darkness into the light, and all black magic is banished from our realm, the return of the elementals and natural lore through the nature kingdoms and the glory of our divine reconnection with the spirit realms, Start dusting off your magic robes and crystal wands, earth wizards, because life on earth is about to get a whole lot better. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Tone of creation, magnetic tone one in the spiritual realm. Power attracts, action unifies, essence purpose. Day one of a new wave spell always starts with the magnetic tone of purpose. In the beginning was the one. From out of nothing here one comes, spinning happily, magnetizing all that it requires for more excellent adventuring. When strong in purpose, all will effortlessly come together. The magnetic tone is all about attraction, attracting everything that you require to fulfill your purpose. People, resources, relationships, money, support, and all that you can imagine. The attraction seeks to unify all as one. Thus magnetic kin have a very strong connection to source, a gravitational pull to return there and bring all their buddies with them. Today and during this whole 13-day cycle, we will be questioning, what is my higher purpose and how can I attract all the magic I need to fulfill my divine purpose? Keep believing and keep expressing your radiant powers benevolently each day and the universe will return the energy 1,000-fold. Miracles happen. Note, these dream spell codes today will apply for the next 13 days as an overlay in addition to the daily codes. If you have the white wizard star glyph anywhere in your dream spell signature or were born in a wizard wave speller year, then your magical powers are about to go into super drive. Red serpent kin will find themselves helping and supporting others more really being in demand especially as healers, while yellow seeds may be challenged and tested. If there are more evolved seeds, then they will be blessing others with their gifts of planting ideas, wisdom, and light codes, and growing towards the light. 
Today's question is what do I need to attract to awaken my inner magician and manifest greater unity and love through my divine purpose, divine blessings, and may your life be filled with the great white magic and divine miracles. Aho, magical earth wizards. In la kek a la ken, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Ken 66. Ken 14, White Magnetic Wizard. The mantra, the code for today is, I unify in order to enchant, attracting receptivity. I seal the output of timelessness with the magnetic tone of purpose. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of timelessness, receptivity, and enchantment, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below and the little bell next to it to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. And now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of our monthly pledges on Patreon and your donations that we're able to continue doing this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Josie Weaver, for your pledge and support on Patreon. Thank you very much and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. We'd like to also thank and welcome Divine Sistar of the Light, Alana, for your pledge and support on Patreon. Thank you very much and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and Condor. If you'd like to support our work and join our mission, you can do so at the link at whitegoldeagle.com. And I'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Lynn McCary, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal link at eaglelovecondor.com. Each pledge and donation is a vote for us to keep continuing to do this work and bringing these transmissions to the world daily and our other works of art on Patreon. And with that, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from our Pleiadian bro stars and sisters of the light. Pleiades 1 Messages, September 14, 2021. P1 Calling Terrans for Origins Recognition. Attention for Calls in PVSE-SDE. Loves Continue to Blossom. Dividers Continue to Move Away. Particulars Rekindle Sacred Flames. Buddhic Columns Increase Potency. Centers of Command Increase Programmers Radius. Attention, plastic transmitters, single unification projector and support, 83% non-regressive. Attention, plastic transmitters, single unification projector and reverberation, 83% non-regressive. Ancestral liberations and elevations take place. Mergers, 85% non-regressive. Terrans on specific ascension. Enclosures are ready for migrations. Soul migrations accelerate. We in resplendence. Temporarily end of transmission. Pleiades 1 potentiating Nevic grid building from DisclosureNews.it. So thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. During this transmission, we had another big blast of white light showing up on the Schumann at 46 hertz. This is fifth dimensional. Gamma plasma waves coming from the galactic center, the great central sun. Also, there's information coming in that this 17th, September 17th, a massive wave is coming in. There's a triple code, triple CMEs converging together to create a massive blast of energy. The 17th also happens to be my mother's birthday, Mary Jo Fry, F-R-Y-E. Her father, her parents, Mary and Joseph Fry. Her father, Joseph, my grandfather, was good friends with President Eisenhower, Winston Churchill, and General Patton during World War II. 
the time President Eisenhower was general, my grandmother, Mary Fry, used to have tea and crumpets with Mamie Eisenhower on Sundays while they played bridge together. My grandfather was a major during World War II. He's on the Wall of Liberty. He was at Normandy. He stuck around after the war to help rebuild France. President Eisenhower was general during World War II. After World War II, my grandfather became Lieutenant Colonel, Army Corps of Engineers. His troops during World War II built the roads and bridges for Patton's tanks. So we'll talk more about these powerful waves coming in on the 17th in tomorrow's transmission. Have a most beautiful and blessed wave spell of the white wizard, the magic of the great white light. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart and shine your light brightly into the night. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.